In Fallout, and then in Fallout New Vegas in particular, we really wanted to have sort of a lot of groups that people could interact with. Factions are really important to us. We didn't want to make it something where it was black and white, where you have this small group of good people against a small group of bad people. It's this very complex mixture of these different people and these different factions. The player has a lot of control over what he gets to do in the New Vegas area. He gets to influence what happens to an entire region, and in order to have that kind of influence, he needs to side with one of the factions and sort of decide where he tips the balance. It's all about war, and that's what Fallouts have been about, is, is war, and so how we're really showing that is war between these factions. We want the player to sort of have that hesitation when they're like, where do I really stand with these organizations? Like, is it really the right thing to back X, Y, or Z? And even if I go off on my own, what does that mean for everyone who's living in the world of New Vegas? We have three primary factions, uh, one of which is the New California Republic. Which is this big, sprawling government that's gotten too big for its own good. It's so big, it can't control its own territories, it can't police its own laws, it certainly can't protect its own citizens. On the other hand, uh, approaching from the east, looking to lock horns of the New California Republic, is this huge army of slavers called Caesar's Legion. Which is this terrifying, war band of slaves that has come from out of the Grand Canyon area that is just conquering everything in its path. NCR and Caesar's Legion are sort of stalemated at the Colorado River and at Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam is uh, one of our signature locations in the game, and to be honest, it's what everyone is fighting over. It's still able to provide power for part of the region, which is its big draw. Of course, Mr. House is playing into it as well, because Mr. House doesn't want NCR to win, ultimately, because he doesn't want them to take control of the Strip. But that's not going to happen because you're going to work for me. The general idea is that we have the three major factions, Mr. House, NCR, and Caesar's Legion, but then there are all these sub-factions like the Great Cons, the Powder Gangs, the Kings, the Boomers, the Followers of the Apocalypse, and the player can go to those groups and try to shift alliances. We want the player to experience those factions. We want them to know what politics are at stake and what ideologies these organizations represent. So when they choose what factions they want to work with, it's based on something more than just a gut, their good, their evil reaction. So if you support Caesar, or if you support NCR, or if you help the great cons or the kings, it's going to make a big difference. You can decide, you know what, I don't think any of you are really particularly well suited to be running this place, so I'm gonna fix that. That's where you essentially are either the active champion of Vegas, or you basically just said, it's anarchy now. <laughs>